Black Cat Hobbies here, jumping back in with some more Raid Shadow Legends. We got some update. We got a crazy event going on this weekend. And woof. We got hit hard. Um so you got the summon event going on, working on Yoshi. Champion training is going on. Been working on that. Probably gonna up great apothecary to six star here in the next day or two definitely going to be taking advantage of it during that event for the points Ugh, it always runs so slow when i'm recording i really need to get a computer upgrade but that's a ways away unfortunately so this being a tournament 7700 just to get the those shards there. Twenty nine fifty is not too bad, but seventy seven hundred. That's usually where an event like this would top out. They're uh, they're making it rough on this one. I don't know if they're just trying to say Yoshi's that good. Personally, I think he would be a great addition to my account. I know a lot of people were just kind of like, "Oh, Yoshi, he doesn't look that great," you know, all this other stuff. And then a lot of them have had to come back and be like, oh, you know what? He's actually pretty good. Well, that's what you get to jump into conclusions. We've also got a summon event going on, as I mentioned. Just has to run so slow. Summon Rush. I will be pulling shards here by the end of the video. 1070, not too bad. And I was going to pull extras thinking things would be reasonable. 3,500. I don't have that kind of shards to spare. At least not on this event. Even opening my voids and my uh, ancients, I would just be too far behind. I'm definitely going to get those five and those five there, but um, yeah, I don't know about that top section, and I was really looking forward to getting those too, so it's gotten that this one's going to be a lot harder to get than I was expecting for the uh, this event. Still struggling with Arena. I know some of the other content creators have been starting to talk about this now. Kind of regretting when I started this account. I mean, I'm at 1062, but I still haven't managed to branch into Bronze 3. And it's they're just having issues with um, how difficult these missions are to when you have to reach certain spots in arena compared to the missions after them. Like, yeah, not, that page did not look good. I'll look at it again here in a bit. I mean, my clan boss team, one key is easy, one key is normal, and I'm working on hard. And I hit the wrong thing. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's, it's been a weird day. Yeah, stuck here on Bronze Street. This is Clayer Stage 7 of Brimstone Path on Normal. That's been done within, like, the first few days. But Arena? Bronze 3? No. Uh, for a while, they had actually flooded the Arena with what people were calling bot accounts that were usually like, oh, the defense is one champ, they're easy. It just, it helped people progress with their missions. And I do have to retract something I said in a previous video. I'll get to that here in a moment. Um, but the way they've been working is they're also trying to remove people from Arena after so long. And we're apparently hitting that point where a lot of the bot accounts have now been removed. So a lot of those easy fights that were allowing people to progress in their missions, now that a bunch of us are going for records, aren't in the game anymore. And so it's made the arena a lot more challenging. And we don't know if they're going to be putting more back in or what. There's, it sounds as if there's talk, but we haven't heard anything concrete. Now, the retraction I need to make, because I was, uh, as much as I don't like complaining on these videos, I was 
commenting, and they could have come off as a little whiny about uh, some of the content creators that pour a bunch of money in this game, which is uh, fair enough, but how basically the new faction dropped and they already had champions and, like, fairly well-geared champions from the new faction. Um, basically, I made that video after having just watched one of the new videos, or one of the champion guides from one of the content creators that's partnered with Larium, uh, and then watched a different one after I made my video, and in that one, a different content creator revealed that the, uh, at least the big name creators that are partnered with them, have, or were given access to a test server so they could try the new champions and get videos recorded with those new champions for when they actually launched. So, that's my bad. That info was uh, not brought to light from the videos from the first content creator that was getting things uploaded. And, yeah, about a half an hour later or so, that info came to light from a different content creator. Go figure. But it is... Day 36. We did get an Ancient Shard today. We're going to get an XP boost tomorrow. Hopefully some of this stuff will be good. The Void Shard will be nice, but I need to... I kind of want to hold on to these for the next two times event on Voids. Even if I wanted to do that, I can't on this account. And we are slowly making progress. Like I said, we're going to have another 6-star here soon. Um... I mean, if we go to my champions, Doom Priest here, it's going to get upgraded to five stars here very soon. The speed gear is definitely helping. It's it's allowed me to progress farther, which I, I'm going to have to show you guys something because I'm actually pretty happy about it. It's still not where I want to be, but upgrading Doom Priest and Apothecary should allow for more progress, which will be nice. Sandlash has been temporarily put on hold. Uh, due to Doom Priest really helping my account out a lot more. Sandlast is fine and all, but to get the gear I need to make the champions better, Sandlast just is not good in that dungeon. So I've had to go back to the drawing board a little bit. As you can see, though, we do have four food champs here, ready to go for turning Apothecary to five. And then I have... Three at level 40 already to turn into a 5 star. And three level 1 4 star food champs. So I just need one more of those so that I can turn one of these into a 5 star food. And then turn Apothecary into a 6 star. Unless something amazing happens in my pulls. I am working on those uncommons that I mentioned. From the new faction since no one seems to really care about covering them. They keep popping up on my market, so I'm grabbing them when I get a chance, and I'm slowly working on them, but they're not the highest priority given that we're working towards a goal that's on a time limit here. But I've made more progress in Doom Tower! I'm so happy about that! So, I had been stuck on Floor 5. It was really annoying, lots of bomb champs, it just was not good for my the setup I had. Kind of tinkered around a little bit, still keeping the same stuff. Upgraded some gear once we got the artifact enhancement going on. And I've managed to progress to floor 7. Still not great. I need to get to floor 10 so that I can keep farming daily now that we've got this whole thing with silver keys being required to get that final potion. A lot of people aren't happy about it. It just means i got to focus a little more on Doom Tower than I was expecting. I was already doing it anyway when I could, um, because I really like getting the rewards each stage, I do find they help the accounts out, it's just getting that team ready to go. But, I mean, other than just getting things ready and farming the Dragon Tournament, or well, Dragon Dungeon a lot on Floor 11 because we did have a Dragon Tournament, there hasn't been a lot of progress, but other than just farming gear. 
But we're going to take advantage of this two times. With any luck, we'll get something good. Could be a game changer. Right now, I'm just happy or ho hoping that it's better than the luck I had on my main account. So I pulled a cult brawler. Really happy about that one. And I pulled a relic keeper. Which I've pulled before, and you are required to fuse for the mission. So that made my third relic keeper. Kind of disappointing on that one. I mean, it's already something you can fuse over and over again. So why would you want to pull one? I'm actually a little disappointed that that's even in the pool to summon. Because it is something you can summon multiple times, but... Or, well, fuse multiple times, but yeah, it is what it is. But before I get back to uh, making more food champs, we're going to have to see if my plans change. Because right now I'm looking at Apothecary and Doom Priest as being the current levels. But let's see what happens. And I want some people's opinions if you're willing to answer. I've got a few ideas I'm just really debating. And I think it's partly going to depend on how next weekend looks. But summon one. That takes us to six. six. Okay, then. That is... I'm conflicted on that one. So, Blood Feather, for any of those who don't know, one enemy, extra 20% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Eh. Once ascended, attacks one enemy, extra 20% chance of a critical hit. 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns. Eh. One enemy, 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns. Decreases target's turn meter by 30%, and extra chance of inflicting crit. Eh. Also, ally crit rate and faction crits. Woo. So, it's conflicting, because I've heard she's good in Spider. I've never really tried her out in the Spider's Den to find out. But she is needed for Rosin. So... It's, it's conflicting because now I don't have to fuse her for Rosin. But at the same time... She is fusible, so it's kind of a disappointing pull. So, I don't know how I feel about that one. It's, it's kind of disappointing, but there's worse. But there's also a lot better. Come on, big pull, big pull, come on. Another epic. But Chonaru. All right. At least it's from the new faction. I will work on this. Um, so she's got one enemy, 40% chance of placing a block buff debuff for two turns. Kind of useful. Not debatable in dungeons. Could be useful in uh, arena, though, and definitely useful in Doom Tower. Three times at random. 75% chance of placing a 25% weekend buff for two turns, which is the good weekend, and it does buff up to a 100% chance. That's always nice. On a three turn, on a three hitter, it's it's got some potential. Ascended? Oh, is this one? Okay, okay. Removes all increased defense buffs from all enemies, then attacks all enemies, and decreases the cooldown of itself by one turn for each enemy killed by this skill. That could be fun. And if I can get some good gear for her, this might just solve my arena problem. Okay. All right, that uh that's, that's a nice pull. I will take that. Um That would be 20 points. But it's not a times 10. And I am nowhere near the Mercy Rule on Ancient Shards, so I'm not going to pull those. If I decide to pull any of my other shards this weekend, I'll make sure to have them recorded for y'all. But, um, yeah. So, Shoulder is a nice pull. Blood Feather, uh, we'll go back in here. As I was saying, Rosin. 
there we go. Which, yeah, apparently I don't have Slither Brute, the Beast, Preserver, or Channeler. So, I mean, at least it covers one that I didn't have a champ for. And I don't believe any of these can be farmed. I could be wrong on that. I, I'm not 100% sure. But it's something. So, not a great pull, but one that has its uses. And then the Chonaru. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to figure that one out. I'm definitely excited for it. Uh, Lay Bear could definitely help my arena teams because I am running into a lot of defense up before I hit on something. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that one could be fun. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens. Maybe I'll... I like Apothecary in there for speed boosting, but maybe, uh, maybe I'll end up pulling Apothecary out for and try her. Um, then again, Apothecary is about to be six star. I was kind of hoping for a Lego, but we got something. And we'll wrap it. Yeah, I don't think I can get more... Um, sacred shards before the event is over. Because I'm still going to need to get another 60 or so points to get those five. But I will probably do that <clears throat> through green shards. Because to do this, I'd get about 600 points from my void shards. So, wouldn't even get me to there, and then I'd still need, like, 1,800 points. I could currently get about 200, 220 from my blue shards. Yeah, unless something really weird happened, there was pretty much no way I'm getting those 10 fragments in this event. I... Sometimes on our main accounts, my wife and I, if we get desperate, we'll just start spamming uh, mystery shards. But I have like 400 on this account, not <laughs> over 2,000. On our mains, we both have like a spare 1,000 of those sitting around at any given time. And I don't really want to go and use my gems. I'm at 938. I could buy an extra 11 blues. But they are 20 points right in, per blue right now. Whereas next weekend, there's going to be another summon event. Uh, should be a champion chase. Where on those, if you pull a blue, or well, if you pull a rare, it's 10 points. But if you pull an epic, it's 250. And if you pull a legendary, which is still that slim chance, 500 points. I'd rather pull them there, even though it'll probably be a times 10. It'll probably actually be a times 10 for the new faction. I can live with that. Um, it's not ideal, but I'd rather wait the two weeks on the Void Shards to get the times 2 event for Voids. And Blues, I can make up. Just, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get enough by pulling those right now. If it was a times 2 event on Blue, I would have pulled them. And I'd spend but it's not. Now, as far as what I wanted to ask people's opinions on, is again, I have over 900 gems. I wish I had more, but it is what it is. I do not regret unlock fully un upgrading that. What I'm debating is I could save for uh, them for next week and in case I need extra blues, which... I'm probably not going to do any of this before next week in any way in case I need the extra blues. We'll see what happens. I could unlock two to three more slots in my sparring pit. The upgrade is debatable, but this is passive XP per champion. It just helps level things up faster. Well, it's not exactly fast, but it's just a constant level. Um, that While it does use gems, it doesn't use any of my energy, which is nice. Otherwise, it's an 11 pack of blues. Could come in handy. Or I could buy Mass Priest for a champ. Um, 
and be left with uh, about between 100 and 150 to spare when I'd get to it. Probably more by then, because if we look at Mastery, Kale is done. I've got progress on War Maiden. I've got progress on Sandlast. Progress on Broadmaw. Progress on Apothecary. I'd probably spend them on Kaimar. I've got progress on Doom Priest. If I didn't do Kaimar, it would probably be Zardala. Or the new girl there. So... I'm debating what to do. Uh, feel free to leave your opinions down in the comment. I'm happy to hear them out. It's, like I said, it's probably going to be a good week or so before I look into using them. And it's kind of going to depend on how summoning goes next weekend. That being said, I hope you all are keeping up with the progress. If you happen to be following along, let me know how you're doing. Feel free to leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, hey, let me know what I'm, uh, how I can improve. Any comment does help the algorithm. And, well, YouTube's algorithms are a pain. That being said, make sure you hit the notification icon to be notified when I upload. I'm trying to get on a set schedule, but things have been a little crazy. Um, I'm trying to work more. I'm also trying to record more videos. And then my wife's schedule that I tend to work around. Um, she's been getting a lot of overtime, which is nice, but... She gets one real day off a week where we completely trash our sleep schedule trying to get all our errands done, and it just kind of messes up the rest of the week. So things have been a little crazy, but it is what it is. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and... I don't think my team's going to change, but I'll see you all in the next one, and if it does, I'll let you know. I've been Black Cat Hobbies. Peace.